We uh, really haven't put two halves together yet. Uh, great second half against Notre Dame. Great first half against Baylor. Um, great first half against St. Bonaventure. Great first half here tonight. Uh, but we haven't put two together. So uh, that's for me to figure out. 13 assists, one turnover in the first half, 12 assists, in, you know, five assists and 12 turnovers in the second half. So uh, I'm disappointed, I, and I, but I wish I was surprised. It was just just uh, had it uh, had to do with some uh, uh, in in house stuff has, has nothing to do with anything else. Uh, all right, Mike. Uh, Coach, you know, we just talked about the lineups today. Yeah. Um, so you had some different lineups uh, going on. How much do you think that maybe attributed to you know the flow of the offense in the second half? I I don't think it had anything to do with the flow. Um, they scored 39 points in the second half. We sent the line 13 times. It was only four in the first half. Um, the defense was fun of our bench in the first half. We uh, we were um, obviously flying around and doing what we needed to do. And once again, our second half defense dropped off. Um, the second half offense, um, we just uh, thir again 13 assists in one turn with five and 12. What kind of you know, what kind of playmaking are you making, guys? A lot of guys. Settle for real tough twos when when they just didn't even make the didn't make the extra pass. Jacob in the Chris, in a game like this where you're up multiple you know double digits throughout the game, it's not always going to be like that, especially in SEC play. But how do you keep the guys engaged and how do you kind of teach them in these games? There's a certain number you got to get in order for that win to be a quality win. We were very close to the number. We didn't quite make the number, so a 30 point win. When you're supposed to win by uh, whatever you're supposed to win by, we, we didn't meet the mark. That's why you're going to see teams playing for 40 minutes now. But keep playing. Matt? You mentioned I'm kind of on the two guards starting lineup. Obviously, you guys have had a ton of assists this season. I think you assisted like seven of your first baskets in a row. I think 10 of your first 11. What does it say about this team that's had so many assists this, this season and not just from one guy either? Well, I think, I think our system, you know, the, the way we play, uh, we have a, our point guards tonight, you know, we had, uh, you know, only five assists from our point guards tonight and three turnovers. That's not, a, that's not, I got to get better assist turnover ratio there. Um, but again, I thought we really shared it in the first half, but I didn't think we shared it in the second half. And, um, um, valuing possessions. It's just about it's about valuing possessions and about executing. And so, that first half, that first half team could can can win some games. That second half team couldn't win an SEC game, not a one. The scoring performance from Cheney Johnson tonight was season high so far. But just what, what do you see from him? How oh, Cheney was terrific. I I thought he was terrific all game long. I mean, he was physical. He was athletic. Played really, played well defensively. Um, just really, really, so happy for him. Um, got stuff to work on. Needs to be a better playmaker, and a better passer. Uh, understand our offense, but he did really well tonight. Kurt, uh, I was just gonna follow up with Chan. You had said, you know, earlier that you were lacking the shots he was taking. He just, they just weren't falling. Yeah. I mean, how big do you think it's going to be for him to have a game like tonight where they work? I mean, he's in the gym all the time, too. And he only got one three ball off. It was a beautiful ball. He just needs to see it going in a little bit more. But those are all great shots. And, you know, there was a time or two where I wanted him to take the ball to the basket a little bit more rather than settling for the turnaround fadeaway. That meant turn, you could turn around and shoot a jump shot, but you could still turn around and take it to, take it to the basket and, instead of fading away. But, man, I thought he was really, really good. Last question, Mike. Uh, Coach, one of the things the players have said uh, about you is, is that you coach every player with the same energy. They get the yep. same energy for Coach Woodfall. At the end of the 
half, the second half there, you're doing some hard coaching. Uh, was that a carryover from what you were seeing in the second half, or what was going on? You know, Mike, it just, um, we got outplayed in the second half by three. So, it's, uh, you know, obviously I'm not okay with it.